One of the best dinos you can get in the game for resource gathering has got to be the Therizinosaurus. But along with that, they are probably one of the most dangerous and hardest creatures to tame. Just because they're really fast, really powerful, and they just always seem to be in the right place at the wrong time. I'm pretty sure you guys have obviously already come across one of these, and it's probably chewed on your dead corpse as well. And probably lost a few dinos maybe to them. I know I have in the past. So I'm going to teach you how to tame one of these. And it's really simple actually once you know how. Thanks to my good friend Kit who showed me the method. So sit back guys, relax. And let's tame a Therizinosaurus. <laughs> Guys, the first thing that we're going to need for the Therizinosaurus is the saddle, obviously. And we're going to need to be a level 69 to get this saddle. So once we've unlocked the saddle, guys, it's only going to take 285 hide, 160 fiber, 220 wood, and 55 metal ingots. Not too bad around this time. I've got one in here somewhere. It's getting that full nowadays. I don't even know where they are anymore. Let's, let's search this. There it is. That's my baby. So guys, the weapons that we're going to need, we're going to take our crossbow, a nice apprentice crossbow even. We're going to take our journeyman shotgun that I found not long ago. And we're going to take a pike. Nice. And obviously, guys, we're going to need the ammunition. So we're going to take all the trank arrows we have. And um, we're going to take all the shotgun bullets that we have. I need some more shotgun bullets. I know that. Now, my good friend Kit, he showed me a way how to trap a Therizinosaurus very easily using just four metal billboards. Now, you can use wooden, I guess, but the Therizinosaurus will probably break that rapidly. So, if there's a lot of you and you can trap it with wooden ones, it's less materials, then that would be great as long as you all quickly shoot at it and knock it out as quickly as possible. If not, if you're on your own, metal billboards are good enough. Yeah, guys, we're going to need some narcotics, so let's take 100 with us. On to taming food, guys. Now, the taming food we're taking is exceptional kibble. Now, to make exceptional kibble, you're going to need one extra large dino egg, one focal chili, one rare flower, 10 medjo berries, 5 fiber, and water. Now, the focal chili is the reason why the exceptional kibble takes a bit of time. To make one focal chili, you're going to need 9 cooked meat, 5 citronol, 20 tinto berry, 20 azulu berry, 20 amur berry, and 10 medjo berry with water. I'm sorry if I butchered them berry names, but that's just what I call them anyway, guys. Pretty sure you guys know what I mean. So guys, I'm going for speed instead of power today. I'm going to take my unicorn because I've been leveling his movement speed up so much that he's rapid now, guys. When it comes to the Therizinosaurus's location, this guy is located everywhere on the island that you see at the beginning of the game. And he's everywhere that you don't want to be. And he's too fast to outrun and he just kills you all the time. Holy hell, guys. Look how dangerous it is around here at the minute. The Smallosaurus is a Rex, Carnos, Raptors, Carnos. There's a Therizinosaurus there. Oh, and one there. You know what? We might be able to get one of these guys. I want a male, though. Let's take out these Raptors first. Woohoo! I tell you what, guys, I've never really been a fan of, like, you know, just going around and... Oh, Jesus, here comes a carno. Woohoo! Let's get out of here. I've never been a fan of, like, going around the loot drops and, you know, just collecting all the things out of them. And then the other day I thought, you know what, I'm going to go around and spend a couple of hours just, you know, getting some loot drops and that. And this is, this is what happens. Oh, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bad man. I want to try and... Oh, he's probably angry at me now. Why are you angry at me? I ain't even done that. I didn't do nothing to you. Oh, run! It wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> it was 
the one-armed man. No, it wasn't me. It was the one-armed man. Run! Yeah, this is why I brought my unicorn. There's not a lot I can't outrun with this bad boy. I want a male. I've already got female, so if I can get a male, I can breed him. I can, I can breed him, man. So, guys, I'm just here um, below the green obelisk, and there is our Therizinosaurus. Now, the question is, male or female? If it's a male, great. If it's a female, I don't need it. I've got a female already, but... Right, what I'm going to do is place this... Uh-oh. There, like that. So now... We've got a male. We've got a male. Ah! I didn't prepare my... Ah! Didn't prepare my trap. Is it still following? It is. Nice. That's fine. I can... I can do this. Ah! This is not what I I had planned. Way up. There we go. It's uh, it's sort of trapped. Come after me. So I sort of trapped it. This might actually work. It's not the best, but it might it just might work. Oh no. That's why it didn't work. Okay, let me quickly Put that there like that. And what I can do is leave it and wait till it comes and then trap it in here like that. The other question is... Ah, right, boys. The other question is... Here it comes. Here it comes. Run me. And the good thing about using signs is we can get under like this. There we go. Take that. And it's stuck. I can just get round here. There we go. It is indeed now trapped. And I'm blinded. Get out. We've trapped it. Okay. So that was a, almost a disaster. It looks like he can get out, but he can't. Trust me. You get away. Yeah, we got it. Jesus Christ. That was, uh, that was close. That was very close. I, I lost all my armor. Except my helmet. And I've got I've got I've got an ascendant boots on as well. So that shows you how dangerous this was. Place that in there, that in there. All that for a level eight male. A level eight guys. Just shows you the Therizinosauruses are literally one of the best dinos for literally just dealing damage. And look how easy this was as well. Look at this. He could, he could have got out there, actually. He could have probably got out of that, actually. But, you know, I was I was rushing, guys, okay? Danger! This guy is taking so long to get up. You are going to need a fair good amount of narcotics. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, hey there, big guy. Uh, so, guys, I, I was... Uh, I, I forgot that I uh, was stood right in front of this guy waiting for him to set him up, to be fair. And he's up. Hello, Mr. Big Guy. Yeah, you, you have that. I'll take these now, thank you. And wow, he's very low. He's very low health. Very. Low. Nah, we're gonna have to start boosting that health, aren't we? So, guys, when it comes to the Therizinosaurus, you'll notice that they're rather quick, actually. I like these guys. Obviously, they're gonna be quick because they always catch up to my <laughs> and kill me. But these guys are actually really quick, and the stamina's reasonably good as well. Although it drains rather quickly. It's still not too bad. It's not too quick and it's not too long. I like it. They've evened it out really well. So, guys, when it comes to the Therizinosaurus, it's an all-round dino. This guy can harvest wood and thatch. But as you can see, it can harvest a lot of wood. In fact, I'm encumbered already. Look at that. So, let's drop some of this wood. Not only that, though, is if you use your C attack or your right bumper if you're on consoles, attack on grass... You can see, look at how much, like, berries and seeds and everything we get. That's just in one bite. These guys are great for gathering berries. So, as well as being able to gather berries and 
thatch and wood like crazy. If you go over to the good old grass again and we use our secondary attack, he does this tickle attack and look at how much fiber we've got, 326. And yes, guys, you can just literally keep running and doing this. Look, we're just running along and we're clicking and we're gathering all this in the matter of seconds. If we drop them, we can even do it when we're running with the trees, with the wood, uh, the thatch, everything like that. And even, oh, I've run out again. I'm encumbered. That's fine. I just need to keep dropping all this. As you can tell, the weight of this guy is a bit rubbish, but obviously it's nothing that you can't increase. I'm just increasing his health a bit at the minute because I need to. Now, fighting guys, I love these guys. These guys can swing. That's what they're best for. Oh, I'm encumbered again. Drop that quick. We can just literally, I'm, I'm fighting another Therizinosaurus. We're going to swing it out. We're going to slug it out. See which one's better. And it looks like I'm going to be better. Just this sweep attack. We could always bite it as well if we want. I tickle it just to say hello at the end. <laughs> but the tickle attack does also collect you keratin as well as you saw. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting munched on now. Bugs, beetles, and things like this. Look, we've got these flies that normally do your heading, guys. But the sweep attack. Look at that. We just one-shotted them all. Well, actually, I had to do two because I hit half of them and the other half were a bit further away. But one shot took all of them out. The Therizinosaurus is the best dino to take in with you when going against the dragon. The dragon actually has a damage boost against all carnivores. And luckily for us, the Therizinosaurus is not a carnivore. It's actually a herbivore. So guys, that is it for me and my fairy chicken here. I'm going to go breed this guy, get a few Therizinosauruses, and we're going to go and head over to the Red Obelisk, and we're going to summon the dragon, and we're going to kick its ass. But for this episode, guys, that is it. And I hope you did enjoy it. And hopefully you have a new love for the Terrazinosaurus. If you do, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button while you're at it. And don't forget to share as well. And I'll see you all in the next episode.